Today we're going to compare the Oppo Reno Ace versus the Huawei P30 and that's the regular P30 not the pro version and from my experience from comparing the P30 to the Reno 2 the color on that is more consistent on Oppo than a Huawei but right now looking at the front facing screen the HDR is already much better on the Huawei than the Oppo Reno 8. So this is a low light test of the front facing camera and I'm walking under trees with a bunch of Christmas lights so that's the main source of my lighting on my face but other than that let's move on to the next section. Starting off with the portrait mode experience I gotta give it to the Huawei P30. For one it has multiple focal lengths so you can actually zoom in and if you're standing too far that's where it's most helpful. And when you take it at 3x that's when the background gets more compressed therefore it looks more like a portrait picture. And when you want to take a picture of a person or an object, the flexibility of the Huawei P30 is really simple. You just point and shoot and it does all the work. On Oppo, you would have to look at the screen to see the background effect. And if it doesn't work, then basically you would need to move in closer or farther away, which it will tell you that when um, you're trying to take a picture. The downside about the Huawei P30 is that every time when I take a picture of the main camera, it kind of changes the color. And most likely that would change to a green hue. There are some times where the change is not so bad, so the picture is still usable, but there are other times where it's way too green and it just makes the picture looks awkward. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it's really inconsistent, so that is one of the biggest cons of the Huawei P30. For everyday usage, the experience is almost the same. You can actually go from ultra wide angle all the way up to 5x. So you're not really sacrificing too much quality unless you want to zoom all the way in. I know that on the Huawei, you can go up to 30x and I believe the Oppo can go up to 20x. Now for the colors, for the most part, they are pretty close to the eye. So they are pretty neutral looking colors. For the Huawei, it's a bit more contrastier, so therefore the pictures do stick out a bit more. And sometimes it can be too over-processed, so it almost kind of looks like a cartoon. For the Oppo, it does give a more flat look, so therefore it's not going to stick out as much. It pretty much reminds me of how the iPhone renders its own pictures as well because they also give a more flat look. For HDR, I want to vote for the Oppo just because it does give that flatter look, therefore we can see more in the shadows. Now moving on to low light to HDR is also better on the Oppo just because I can see more in the shadows. The upper part of the building is still visible on the Oppo Reno Ace whereas on the Huawei, it's pretty much all blacked out. Now for the color consistency, it's even worse on the Huawei during nighttime. And for camera performance during nighttime, Huawei P30 wins by a mile. As I'm taking pictures on 5x, on the Oppo, I notice that these pictures aren't coming out as sharp. During daytime, it's completely fine, the images still come out super clean, but when it hits nighttime, for some reason, the image stabilization seems to stop working. As I hit the shutter button, I notice how quickly and how snappy the Huawei is still going, while the Oppo is kind of lagging behind. Now, it's not too bad or unbearable, it's just something I noticed while taking pictures at the same time. For night mode experience, Huawei does give you a timer, so that's nice, whereas on Oppo, it kind of just bursts pictures and then you wait until it's done processing. They both work really well and I noticed that the Huawei main camera mode is already good enough for the most part so for me, I would just stick with that mode. And to no surprise, the Huawei still gives off a really green picture from time to time. Now moving on to video, I would say the stabilization is a bit better on Oppo. Right here is kind of similar, but when we switch to the 4K60 clip, you will see the difference. And at this moment, I do notice how the white balance changes on a Huawei P30 to a really cool looking color, whereas on Oppo, it's still consistent throughout. Now for the 4K60 clip, which the Oppo can do and Huawei can't, so that's a huge plus for Oppo. And now you can kind of see the stabilization is a bit more wobbly on the Huawei than the Oppo as well. Both phones can record in ultra wide mode. One big pro about the Huawei one is it's still in 4K, whereas on the Oppo it's only up to 1080. But as you can tell, the stabilization is still better on the Oppo than the Huawei. Now moving on to low light, they both produce a lot of micro jitters as I'm walking. And for the colors, the Huawei P30 is really trying to make these light bulbs white, whereas realistically it's kind of yellow, closer to what we actually see on Oppo. Therefore, looking at that green light on top of the building, what I see in real life is actually that green. Not the Huawei one where it's kind of tealish. Now moving on to the 4K60 on the Oppo Reno Ace, this is where it pretty much wins hands down. The colors are still looking good and there's way less micro jitters, therefore a much more clear video. So that is my comparison between these two phones. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. Let me know which one you guys would pick and if you are interested, I do have links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.